Investors are alarmed by rampant coronavirus rates as the prospect of a new shutdown poses a threat to the U.S. economy. Nevertheless, market participants reject the idea of similar restrictive measures like the ones imposed in March. Wall Street is trading steadily and the U.S. dollar has resumed its decline. The pandemic resurgence racked investors' hopes for the rapid economic recovery, which earlier boosted a robust rally of global stocks. The volatility index spiked above the level of 30 points today. The long-term average for the VIX index is measured at 22 points. The index surpassed this value on February 24, and since then the indicator has never dropped below, even during a rally of stocks. It seems that the bears are not going to loosen their grip on the equity market. Futures on the benchmark U.S. stock indices were declining on Friday afternoon. Futures on the Dow Jones were 0.7% down in the early New York trade at 25,393.5. The S&P 500 edged down 0.3% to trade at 3,131.88. Later, the U.S. equity market reversed upwards. Investors are alert to financial reports for the second quarter. The season of corporate reports will kick off on Tuesday. Large U.S. banks will be the first to report the corporate earnings. Analysts reckon that the overall profits of companies included and the S&P 500 index have logged the sharpest contraction since the last financial crisis. The U.S. dollar index rebounded after it tested 96.34 yesterday. Nevertheless, it failed to hold firmly to the level of about 97. In the evening trade, the index again shed 0.3%, and judging by the dynamic, the lower board of the trading range will be broken soon. The US dollar versus the loony pair is trading marginally higher. The greenback managed to win back some of its losses. The loony had been weighed down by the downward correction in the oil market, which has been going for a few sessions. Later today, both benchmark rates are again trading with modest gains. Today, traders speculating on the loony are evaluating positive data on Canada's labor market for June. The increase in employment came out beyond market expectations. Bitcoin has been trading in the same fashion for the whole month. On Friday, the cryptocurrency is trading under high volatility. Today, it sank to the level near $9,170 and even lower. Long positions could be reasonable on condition of the price bounce to $9,100-$9,180 to resistance of $9,370-$9,400 per token. From this level, sellers could enter the market again. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.